my name is Kelly McElligot and today I have a short tutorial on tracking in-house use. And you have two different options. You can do that with Koha. You can use a statistical patron and you can also use a local use system preference. So I'm going to show you both of those today. So the first way I'm going to show you how you can track your in-house use in your library is we'll create a statistical patron um, and then create a patron for your in-house use. So I'm going to go over and create a page, new patron category, and that's done through our Koha administration. Within the Koha administration module, under patrons in circulation, there is this patron category option. We're going to click that. This is where all your patron categories are set up. So I'm going to actually create a new patron category for statistical use. I'm going to create a category code and the description for this. The enrollment period could be as long as you want since I actually don't want this um, patron to expire. Two types of patrons. Um, there's no enrollment fee. There is no required um, overdue notice because this is for my in-house use. Um, category type, which is in red, so it's required, needs to be that statistical. And it kind of tells Koha that this is not going to be a real patron and it's for in-house use for statistics. No messaging preferences required for this patron category. Okay, now that I've created my patron category successfully, I'm going to create a patron for my in-house use. I'm going to go up to the top here under patrons. And I'm going to create a new patron with this drop down menu and I'm going to go ahead and choose statistical patron. Um, you can choose whatever you want for the first name last name for your statistical patron. I'm just going to go ahead and name it what it is in-house use. Address, phone number, um, date of birth not required, not necessary for this um, type of patron that I'm creating. A card number is required within Koha, so I'm going to go ahead and just give it a um, the name in-house use as a card number, so I don't have to worry about giving it a card and having that card be copied. Okay. Um, I don't need to give it a, a login for OPAC or staff. And once again, no patron messaging required. I'm going to go ahead and save that. Once this patron is created, I can see um, their accounts on the screen. And at the end of the night, I can go into the checkout and I can actually check out any items to this in-house use patron to store that local use. So at the end of the night, I go into my reference area and grab the stack of books that are found there. And um, I can just go ahead and scan those. Scanning the first one. I see that it says local use recorded and the patron has nothing checked out. I don't actually want to check these items out to this patron, this in-house use patron. I actually just want to record the, the local use. So that's what it's saying that it's just done. It will take that item and show it last being seen as today because it was actually physically scanned. That is one way that you can track your in-house use within Koha. There is also another way, and that is through a system preference. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So we're going to actually um, go to our system preferences within Koha. So that's through our Koha administration module. And we're going to go into our global system preferences. And it's actually called record local use on return. But if I put in record local, it will bring it up. So this system preference, once again called record local use on return, is um, you can choose record or don't record um, local use when an unissued item is checked in. I'm going to go ahead and save that circulation preference to turn on that system preference of recording local use on return. Now again at the end of the night I have a stack of books that I've collected throughout the library that was off the shelf and I know that have been used today and I want to track that use. All I have to do is go over to my check-in and start scanning the item. So now I'm just in check-in, I don't need to pull up my patron, scan the item, 
and it gives me that same notice that the local use is recorded. It's saying it wasn't checked out, so therefore checking it in just, just activates the idea of this um, local use is now recorded. So these are two great ways to track your in-house use to help your statistics with your library. You can create a patron um, for local use to check things out to them, or you can just activate that system preference and um, go ahead and start checking in those items. Thank you so much for watching. This tutorial is a production of Bywater Solutions. We have a lot more videos and um, education help on our website, bywatersolutions.com.